We are here at the International Dortmund Chess Days 2022 and today we have a very special guest here in Dortmund and I'm happy to welcome Lena Tomasev, Artificial Intelligence Programmer at our sponsor DeepMind. And I don't know, maybe you want to introduce yourself a little bit? Yeah, well, um, hi everyone. I would hope that DeepMind doesn't need too much introduction, but uh, we are a company that develops AI and tries to use AI systems we develop to address um, big problems in, in sciences and society to try to uh, yeah, uh, do some good in the world, I guess, mm -hmm. at the end of the day. And we've also done some work with chess and chess AI, so that's that's why I'm here. Yeah, um, we are working together with Alpha Zero on this No Castling Chess project. So we are playing No Castling Chess last year, we are doing that this year. Um, but Alpha Zero, what is so special about this AI in chess? Well, at least in the moment when Alpha Zero happened, I guess, the, the reason why it was so fascinating for, for me personally, and I would imagine for many other people, is that uh, there was no human supervision. So it was for the first time a system that learned to play chess just of its own volition um, by playing random moves at the beginning, obviously playing less, less random moves uh, towards the end. Uh, but through this experience of self-play, learning what makes for a good position, uh, what is material, how, how should I you know, manage these pieces. And it was this artificial neural network uh, that was made to kind of perceptually process the board as we would with, uh, with our own vision, I guess, mm -hmm. form some kind of a representation of that. And it had two components. One was the value assessment of a position, which is something that um, well, other engines have as well, just uh, okay. kind of, at least historically, it was handcrafted in a different way. Okay. And also a policy network that would produce candidate moves and then a search function which would take the candidate moves as it's going through the tree, look at the, the value estimates obviously towards the end, integrate all of that in some meaningful way and mm -hmm. try to find the best move to play. And you have been working uh, as a programmer at this Alpha Zero. Yeah, I've, I've been working on, on trying to use Alpha AlphaZero um, and to, to improve it on chess and yeah, uh, yeah. to do some creative things with it as well. So that's been um, quite a humbling experience, especially because, you know, I'm, I'm not too strong myself, but I do love chess. I play it often and I'm an enthusiast, so, so I follow and it's a, it's a real pleasure to be here and see mm -hmm. this tournament. But yeah, seeing all the creative ideas Alpha Zero can come up with was uh, was really a pleasure to for me to work on that. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we tried to analyze the game from last year uh, together yeah. after the match with Vladimir Kramnik and Vichy Anand. Um, you are working together with Vladimir Kromnik. Uh, how can one imagine yeah. this cooperation from DeepMind and Kromnik? As many great things in life, it kind of happened. So um, we were already, I mean, we, we do a lot of research, we do other things, and we were already thinking about something else, I guess, at that point in time. But uh, Vladimir, he came for, for a visit just to get some experience mm -hmm. of what the system is like. He was curious. Uh, this was around the time when he was announcing his retirement, so it was just something that he was passionate about. Yes. And we sat down and we, we spent some time together and he came with these ideas that maybe, you know, we can use Alpha Zero to, for example, prototype new variants of the game of chess, which is what we've uh, done in No Castling. Uh, I guess chess was one of those variants. Mm -hmm. And another suggestion he made to us back then was that we can also potentially try to uh, explain Alpha Zero and how it plays the game with the hope that eventually, which I guess we, we haven't done yet, but that eventually we would be able to have a kind of a teaching moment where mm -hmm. as humans we'll be able to grasp something yeah. from the system. Because currently, and there is this amazing book, Game Changer, that yes. many, I guess, viewers will have read, um, we can look at the games that Alpha Zero plays, we find some patterns, some style of play, um, but it's ultimately our own interpretation. And there is this question of how can we integrate this understanding, this hopefully superior positional understanding that Alpha Zero has yes. into our own play as, yeah. as humans and in particular if top players can maybe you know do that as well but we don't have a good mechanism for trying, trying to decipher what it is what the secret sauce is in a certain kind of a position but we can just look at the games and, and kind of you know form an opinion ourselves which uh, yeah. which is okay but maybe we can do better as well and obviously Kromnik is helping in that way as one of the greatest yeah. chess players himself yeah uh, I saw that you were also blitzing here in No Castling Chess. Uh, what is so special about this No Castling Chess? I think, I mean, it's a very fun, I mean, classical chess is immensely fun, obviously, play play online very, very often, maybe too much okay. also. Um, but No Castling, I guess, it's very interesting because it's very similar to classical chess. It's classical chess just without castling. Um, but because the kings are in the center, it's more open, it's more tactical. It takes multiple moves to get a king to safety, so 
Whereas normally it's a single move operation, you castle and you're done and well, you can also do it in the incorrect moment and get punished, yeah. but normally it's a simple operation. Here you have several different ways in which you can manually castle, to put it that way, but they take time. And uh, while you're trying to do that, the opponent may be doing something in the center, initiating a kind of an attack. So you may not have the time to do everything at once. And then you have to time the first move of that operation, the second, the third, choose the right way of doing it as well. Um, and it leads to some very interesting patterns. Yeah, and king safety is a big yes. big issue in this, this game. Maybe two sentences about uh, what DeepMind is working actually uh, on the most uh, with this AI stuff. I know about AlphaFold a little bit. Uh, yes. What is the main main uh, research project? I would say that it's almost hard to say because we're quite a mature big company now with mm. lots of people working on various different projects. Obviously, AlphaFold, which uh, is this solution that our teams have built for determining the 3D structure of protein, so protein folding, yeah. um, is an immensely useful tool because you know, for the first time it's at that level of precision where it can potentially be useful to prototype drugs rapidly for, for new diseases. Okay. And there is hope that it can indeed be, be used to do that. Um, but yeah, AI is about more than chess, more than protein folding, and there are definitely teams that are working on a better understanding of uh, language, computer vision, kind of overall understanding of the world, uh, robotics as well, and, and all sorts of things. And I think we're reaching this kind of a point in, in the history of AI where, you know, back in the day, uh, there were lots of hopes, then some of those hopes were crushed, and there was a, an AI winter, as, as we refer okay. to it now. Um, then at some point it got reinvigorated, the community and the uh, kind of introduction of artificial neural networks and figuring out how to do things with them uh, really tipped the point now towards uh, where we are, which is that there are many opportunities and there is plenty of work mm -hmm. remaining to make those systems be not only good, but also really safe, uh, fair, ethical, robust and all sorts of other things that they need to be to have a kind of real world traction. But uh, yeah, I think the next couple of years are going to be quite exciting. I think both for DeepMind as well as anyone else in the world of AI and all of the people who get to who get to use the, the things that get built. Yeah, a lot of new stuff will come which will change our daily lives. Very interesting stuff. Um, now we see the stream. You have been uh, as a guest in our stream too. Uh, how do you like the atmosphere here in, in Dortmund at the tournament, at the chess tournament? It's a tournament with a lot of history and uh, I, I like how you know, this, this keeps moving forward and, and finding its place. And I really like the atmosphere, I think. The players all seem very focused, very sharp, very motivated and ready to play their best chess. Okay. Yeah, we are happy that you are here. Enjoy your stay in Dortmund and thank you, Nenad. Thank you very much. <laughs>